If you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Ronald Reagan, the 40th president of the United States, left a significant legacy marked by his conservative policies, strong anti-communism stance, and the economic reforms known as Reaganomics. His presidency also saw controversial moments, including his handling of the AIDS crisis and the Iran-Contra affair. A new biopic, Reagan, starring Dennis Quaid, has recently been released, focusing on Reagan's rise from Hollywood actor to leader of the free world. While the film highlights Reagan's accomplishments and personal journey, some critics have expressed dissatisfaction, accusing it of glorifying the former president and downplaying more contentious aspects of his presidency. Quaid, who worked hard to embody Reagan's character, has defended the film, arguing that it portrays a balanced view of both Reagan's humanity and historical impact, despite backlash from some viewers. This is something, this is a passion project. You've been working on this for years, and you say it's your, your favorite film that you've done. What yeah. is that? Well, I judge my movies by the experience that I had while making them. It's a little different than a, you know, an audience member. And uh, before this, it been the right stuff. Uh, you know, I got, got my pilot's license and astronauts and stuff, but uh, this has toppled it. Dennis Quaid has been a prominent figure in Hollywood for decades, known for his versatility, charisma, and ability to portray a wide range of characters. Born April 9, 1954 in Houston, Quaid developed a love for acting early on, which led him to pursue a career in film. His journey to fame was not immediate. After moving to Los Angeles in the 70s, he struggled to find significant roles. His first break came with the film Breaking Away in 1979, a critically acclaimed coming-of-age drama where Quaid played Mike, one of four friends grappling with post-high school life in a small town. The film became a sleeper hit, and Quaid's performance caught the attention of both audiences and critics. But it was his portrayal of Gordon Cooper, one of the original Mercury 7 astronauts, in The Right Stuff in 1983 that cemented Quaid's status in Hollywood. The film, based on Tom Wolfe's best-selling book, was a critical and commercial success. Quaid's natural charm and portrayal of Cooper's swagger resonated with audiences and showcased his ability to handle complex, real-life characters. Throughout the 90s, Quaid expanded his range taking on roles that highlighted his versatility. In Great Balls of Fire, Quaid portrayed legendary rock and roll singer Jerry Lee Lewis, showcasing his ability to play larger-than-life figures with charisma and energy. The biopic allowed him to embody a figure who was both rebellious and troubled, and Quaid delivered a standout performance. In The Parent Trap, in 1998, Quaid took a turn in a lighter, family-friendly direction, playing Nick Parker, the lovable father of twins, played by Lindsay Lohan. The film was a hit, and Quaid's affable charm and chemistry with his young co-stars contributed significantly to its success. The role also solidified Quaid as a bankable star in more mainstream commercial films. His career continued to flourish with Wyatt Earp, a Western epic where he played Doc Holliday, alongside Kevin Costner's Wyatt Earp. The film offered Quaid an opportunity to delve into the gritty world of the Old West, and his portrayal of the complex and conflicted holiday was highly praised. Though the film itself received mixed reviews, Quaid's performance was recognized as one of its highlights. Throughout his career, Dennis has balanced dramatic roles with comedic turns, demonstrating an ability to switch between serious and lighter fare effortlessly. In Inner Space in 1987, he played a Navy pilot who is miniaturized and injected into a hypochondriac's body, in a unique blend of science fiction and comedy. The film, while not a massive box office hit, became a cult favorite over the years, and Quaid's comedic timing and sense of adventure made it an enjoyable ride. Any Given Sunday, directed by Oliver Stone, saw Quaid step back into a serious role, this time as an aging quarterback nearing the end of his career. Starring alongside Al Pacino, Quaid delivered a powerful performance 
that captured the toll of professional sports on both body and mind. In Far From Heaven, Quaid tackled a deeply complex and nuanced role as a closeted gay man in 1950s America. Set against the backdrop of societal repression, Quid's portrayal of Frank Whitaker earned him critical acclaim and a nomination for a Golden Globe. Dennis Quaid's career has continued to thrive. In The Day After Tomorrow in 2004, a blockbuster film, Quaid played a climatologist trying to save his son during a global climate catastrophe. The film was a massive commercial success and highlighted Quaid's ability to lead action-packed, high-stakes narratives. In Vantage Point, he was part of a star-studded ensemble cast in a thriller about an assassination attempt on the president. The film's structure, which retold the story from multiple perspectives, kept audiences engaged, and Quaid's role as a Secret Service agent added a layer of tension and urgency. More recently, he appeared in A Dog's Purpose and its sequel, A Dog's Journey, further showcasing his ability to appeal to audiences across generations. He's long admired Ronald Reagan, both as an actor turned politician and as a symbol of strength and optimism in American history. Throughout his life, Quaid has spoken about how Reagan's career shift from Hollywood to politics was inspiring, especially to someone like him who has balanced the world of entertainment and maintained an interest in broader political and social issues. His decision to portray Reagan in a biopic stems from a deep personal connection he felt with the former president's legacy. Reagan, directed by Sean McNamara, allowed Quaid to step into the shoes of a figure he had long admired. In interviews, Quaid has mentioned how challenging it was to capture Reagan's essence, given the complexity of his personality and the polarizing nature of his political career. The film itself faced controversy. While Quaid approached the role with great respect and reverence, critics argued that Reagan glorified the former president, presenting a one-sided view of his presidency. This criticism annoyed Quaid, who has defended the film as an honest portrayal of Reagan's life, highlighting his humanity and achievements without ignoring the difficulties he faced in office. For Quaid, the opportunity to portray Reagan was about more than just playing another role. It was a chance to pay tribute to someone he saw as a pivotal figure in American history. He's often spoken about how Reagan's optimism and unwavering belief in the American dream mirrored his own values, making the biopic a passion project for the actor. Despite the criticism, Quaid remains proud of the film and its portrayal, believing that it offers an insightful look at the man behind the political legend. Through Reagan, Quaid has continued to show his versatility as an actor, while honoring the memory of a leader he greatly admired. Do you think that um, expressing your uh, conservative viewpoints and, and doing this film on Reagan, do you think this ultimately has the potential to hurt your career? I don't care anymore. Reagan has struck a chord with audiences, gaining popularity for its engaging portrayal of one of America's most iconic presidents. Viewers have praised the film for its entertaining narrative and Quaid's characteristic performance. The film's focus on Reagan's journey from Hollywood actor to U.S. president resonates with audiences, particularly those who admire Reagan's optimistic leadership style and his impact on American history. Most critics, however, have been less enthusiastic. Many have panned Reagan for its allegedly one-dimensional portrayal of the former president, claiming it glorifies Reagan without critically examining the more controversial aspects of his presidency, such as his handling of the Iran-Contra affair and the AIDS crisis. Critics argue that the film lacks the depth needed for a balanced biopic, leading to a stark disparity between audience and critical reception. The divide has been significant, with audience scores reflecting strong approval, while critics' reviews remain largely negative. For Dennis Quaid, Reagan could have a lasting effect on his career, as it showcases his ability to embody complex historical figures. Whether the film's success with audiences will overshadow the critical backlash remains to be seen, but it has certainly added another layer to Quaid's legacy. Now it's time to hear from you. Can you make a universally loved film about a politician? Let us know in the comments section below.